This is probably going to be a, another shorter review because this movie's pretty basic. To be fair, it came out in 1946, so of course it is. Despite the title, the film has no relation to Werewolf of London. We mostly follow a small cast of women in the Allenby mansion. Living there is Phyllis Allenby, her aunt Martha, her cousin Carol, and their servant Hannah. Phyllis is just a few days away from getting married, but when deaths begin popping up in a nearby park, she begins to believe that she's committing the crimes due to a supposed family curse that turns its bloodline into wolves. The murders continue to happen, and the evidence is becoming more apparent that she is the killer, so she locks herself away in her room and has decided to break things off with her fiancé. But this guy, like a lot of guys in older movies, doesn't know how to take no for an answer, so he forces his way in to see her and even stalks her house at night. Meanwhile, Martha, refusing to let Carol go out at night, see her unwealthy boyfriend because she's insistent that she could do richer. This adds a motive for either of them to potentially be the killer as well. But hey, has anyone seen much of Hannah throughout the movie? Maybe it's her. Or maybe it's Phyllis who really has inherited the family curse. It's hard to talk about this movie without giving spoilers, but here are my general thoughts. I think it picks up the pace in the last eight minutes or so, but most of the movie is a whole lot of nothing. You see Phyllis in bed, feeling guilty, talking to her aunt or cousin. We see her boyfriend trying to see her, we follow some cops who are trying to get to the bottom of the case, but that's about it. It's got nice atmosphere, and I think that the screen presence of the main trio, Martha, Phyllis, and Carol, are pretty good, and effective at capturing it, what I think the filmmakers were going for with the characters. This movie is just a little too slow moving, and I didn't feel hooked in enough not to mind. But it's only an hour long, so I guess it's not too bad. But it's one of those hour long movies that feels longer. I don't think it's much better or worse than something like Werewolf of London, but the thing I will say about that film is at least we get to see some werewolf action here and there throughout the movie. This flick wasn't going for the same thing. It hinges itself on a mystery instead of the monster, which isn't a bad thing, but most of this movie is outdated rich white people sitting in their big house dumping dialogue. It has brief scenes scattered where we witness the attacks, but makes a point not to show the killer from the front. I appreciate what it was trying to do, but really wasn't digging most of the movie. Who knows, you might like it. 5 out of 10.